Hey out there, fellow engineers, designers, and otherwise mechanically minded people. Today I'm announcing a project that I'm super excited about, but it may kick my butt. I want to design and build a two times scale version of the Curta mechanical calculator. They were the last fully mechanical calculator before electronics and transistors and everything took over. Before the Curta, most mechanical calculators were big clunky things that sat on desks and were, were pretty complicated. The Curta was still plenty complicated, but very small. I'll show you some of the parts in here with uh, people's hands in there for scale. It's, it's pretty impressive. There's a whole cool historical story about the origins of the Curta. I'll put a link in the description to a, a site that'll describe it better than I have time for here. But there's Nazis and war and it, rally car driving. It's all very exciting. So what got me excited about the Curta? Well, a while ago, uh, a guy named Marcus Wu designed and 3D printed a three times scale one. And he ended up giving one to Adam Savage. Uh, whole cool story. I'll put a link to that video as well. Um, but he modeled up all the parts, printed it with an FDM printer, and it works fully functional. He painted it super awesome. Um, so I'm definitely going to be you know, using his models as reference, the original engineering drawings, which are available at uh, vcalc.net. Um, those are actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to spend a decent amount of time showing, like I had to use Google Translate because they're all in, I think, German. Um, so deciphering different material callouts and finishes and things was kind of cool. And they're all, you know, from the 40s and 50s. So um, it's they're all hand drawn and hand annotated and there's little red lines on them. It's, it's pretty cool. So like I said, Marcus did an awesome job doing the 3D printed version, but I kind of want to take it to the next level and, and make it all out of metal. Um, there'll probably be some plastic bushings or something like that, but it's going to be primarily metal. I want to try to stay away from 3D printing as much as I can. Uh, I have a CNC router. I have uh, silicone and urethane molding equipment so I can do some of that. Um, I may end up buying some parts, some machined parts. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'd like to make as much as I can, but I'm not ruling that out. I am going to be starting from the original design, but because of the size and because of the equipment that I have, I may make some tweaks here and there if I can simplify or, or just make it more easily makeable for me. The first assembly I'm going to dig into is called the step drum assembly. This is one of the very central parts of the Curta, and um, because of that, I think it's a good place to start. It's still going to be challenging, but it's also kind of on the easy side of the scale of these parts. So I think it's a good place to start and get my feet wet. You can see the general construction here. Uh, it's one main machined body with all of these uh, little plates with teeth on them. Those are going to uh, catch on some little gears that we'll get into later. I think for the most part, I'll be able to do this one pretty much as they're designed in the original CAD drawings. The only thing that I think may be an issue is the screws that hold on the, the stack of plates. Uh, the head height on one side is pretty critical. It can only be, I think, 0.4 millimeters thick or something. Um, they have, of course, tiny little machine screws that they custom made for it. I'm going to have to experiment and see if I can use uh, like a rivet or some other way of, of holding that in because any screws are going to be too big. So we'll look into that. Why two times scale? It can be 3D printed on an FDM printer at three times scale, so I should be able to make it at two, right? Hopefully. It was all designed in metric originally and things scale up pretty well to eighth inch and quarter inch diameter shafts. So raw materials should be relatively easy to come by. I'm also super open to getting any input from you guys on how to make certain parts or uh, maybe pointing out important features of the parts that I don't realize. Uh, so let me know in the comments whether you'd like to follow along just in the comments, give me suggestions there. I could start a Discord server, um, whatever's easiest, I'm not sure. Uh, Discord I think is is probably pretty likely. Uh, I just want to make it as, as available as I can. I'm going to be modeling everything in SolidWorks. So all those files and step files of those will be available afterwards. And you'll have all these videos showing how I made it. So in case you're interested, you can make your own. Why put myself through a project like this? The purely mechanical workings of this uh, calculator are just super awe-inspiring. I can tell already that like every little feature in this thing does something. Every part does probably three different functions and keeps two other things from happening. And I can't wait to dig into those and I'll probably end up having to make some parts over. So I'm super excited to start on this. I'm gonna start uh, on the cam and maybe some uh, jaws and fixturing for the step drum assembly. And then we'll get into that more in the next video. These guys were made, yeah. mechanical calculator before electronical 
the first assembly I think I'm going to dig into is that it's also a, of a, of a blah, blah, blah. 